Hey, it's Wendy. And it's Jess. And you're watching Food Heaven Made Easy. Have you guys all seen the gluten-free products everywhere, in the shelves, on the countertops, taking over the world? <laughs> I definitely <laughs> have. And we want to know, is this a trend? Is the gluten-free thing here to stay? Should everybody be gluten-free? Should it just be some of us that are gluten-free? And today, we are here to the rescue. We're going to break everything down and go through whether or not you should be gluten-free, you know, who should be gluten-free, and if you are gluten-free, what exactly you can and cannot eat. You guys ready? So what exactly is gluten? Well, gluten is a substance present in cereal grains, most notably wheat. Gluten is responsible for making dough elastic and helping it rise to keep its shape and often gives the final product a nice and chewy texture. Gluten is known to cause adverse health problems in those who suffer from gluten sensitivity. And gluten sensitivity is a spectrum of disorders including celiac disease, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. Symptoms include bloating, abdominal pain, discomfort, diarrhea, muscular problems, bone pain, joint pain. It's estimated that 3 million Americans are suffering from celiac disease and that 18 to 20 million Americans may have gluten sensitivity. Now, if you think you do have this, you want to make sure to go to your gastroenterologist and they can run a series of tests to determine whether or not you have celiac. Now, unlike celiac, the bad news is there's no test for gluten sensitivity. So if you do think you have that, you may want to go to your registered dietitian and they can help you do an elimination diet. And that means you eliminate all the foods that may be causing problems. In this case, it would be wheat and or gluten. And um, if you notice your symptoms getting better, that means you probably do have some kind of adverse reaction and you may just want to go on a gluten-free diet. So what are the top myths about gluten out there? Well, number one is that in order to be healthy, everyone needs to be gluten-free. And this is simply not true. There is no scientific evidence to support this claim. And furthermore, a lot of these gluten-free products are packed with fat, calories, sugar, to improve the taste. A lot of ingredients that we can do better off without. Myth number two is that going gluten-free will help everyone lose weight. Again, there is no scientific evidence to support this claim either. Unless you have a gluten insensitivity or a celiac disease, there is no need for you to go gluten-free for weight loss. And some studies actually show that going gluten-free for weight loss can actually um, lead to weight gain because a lot of these gluten-free products are packed with fat, usually more calories, like I mentioned before, to improve flavor. Now, what do you do if your doctor diagnoses you with celiac disease or thinks you have gluten sensitivity? Well, there's really only one thing you can do, and that is completely eliminating gluten out of your diet. So, some of the main foods you really want to avoid are wheat, rye, malts, oats. If they say specifically they're gluten-free, then they're okay, but if not, you want to get them out of your diet. And the grains and carbs that are usually safe include amaranth, buckwheat, corn, rice, millet, potatoes, quinoa, and yucca. Now we're going to add a detailed list of the gluten-free versus not gluten-free grains below. And also we're going to include a two-day sample gluten-free menu just to get you guys started on your gluten-free diet. So that concludes our gluten-free lowdown. Remember, if you suspect you have celiac disease or gluten intolerance, make sure to make an appointment with your gastroenterologist, which is the doctor who looks into all that stuff, and they'll tell you whether or not you actually have it. If you do, you wanna make sure to schedule an appointment with your registered dietitian, and then they can go over a specific meal plan just for you. Yep, and if you like this video, Make sure that you share it with all your friends and you like and you subscribe and you can share using the links below. We are here every single Monday, so we'll see you next week. Bye. So what are some of the bleh? No, no, no. If you suspect that you do have a gluten intolerance or a celiac disease, every time I Ooh, it is hot. That's the name of that. Three million Americans are suffering from It's your boy. Kenny? Hello? Hi, is this Kenny? Hello? Hello, can you hear me?